My husband is a stay-at-home dad and says it's the easiest job in this world. I am writing this from the guest bedroom because my husband and I had a fight. So, the thing is, my husband is a stay-at-home dad. Three years ago, he wanted to quit his job and take care of the house and children, 6F and 2M. I work a decent job and earn most of the money. My husband takes pride in being a stay-at-home dad. He always brags about how it is the easiest job in this world and women are just complaining for no reason. But the truth is, I help him with the chores as much as I can. In the morning, I wake up and fix breakfast for them, my husband gets our daughter ready for school. I also do meal preps for lunch. All he has to do is assemble and cook. I pack mine and my daughter's lunch. When I am at work, he does the cleaning and spends time with our son or does his thing. Later, when I come home, I cook dinner and give my son a bath, help my daughter with her school work, or I play with them for some time until bedtime. Besides that, whenever we do laundry, I fold the clothes that he washes and put them away. And during the deep cleaning of our house, we split the tasks 50-50. I also handle all the doctor's appointments. This system works really well, but I hate that he thinks my contribution is not enough, that he does all the chores, and I don't even lift a finger. Moreover, he has a blog and TikTok where he films his days. He also makes posts about how easy it is to be a stay-at-home dad and women just complain and are full of it. I'm glad he likes it, but I hate that he thinks he is superior to everyone and invalidates their experience. I grew up in a house where my dad didn't even lift a finger, and my mom did literally everything around the house. He was the fun dad doing the bare minimum. So, I do not want that to happen to my husband. It's my house too and I believe if both people help do the chores, the stress becomes less. I know many of my friends who struggle with doing chores as a stay-at-home mom. I also know women who work and still do the majority of the chores. His comments just make me so irritated. So, yesterday my friend Ashley came to visit. She is a mother of two. Her son probably has ADHD and is very active, she has trouble handling her son and gets no help from her husband. Her son accidentally broke a cup in our house while he was playing around, thankfully he wasn't hurt. Ashley was saying sorry and my husband cleaned it up. She was expressing how exhausted she was after constantly looking after her son when my husband scoffed and told her, you must be doing the parent thing wrong because I am a stay-at-home parent too, but I never had a problem. My wife barely does anything around the house, and it is so easy. Maybe I should give you a lesson or two. I could see Ashley was upset, I understand why. Later that day, I told him what he said to Ashley was very rude. My husband acted as if he said nothing wrong and was honest. I pointed out that he doesn't do all the chores. I help him with at least 40% of them, that's why he thinks it is easy. He again argued that those chores are not significant compared to what he does. I told him he is being mean to everyone. We got lucky that our kids are easy and not active, as most kids are hard to handle. He again scoffed and said, how hard could it be? We argued about this, and he told me I am being ungrateful because no man would ever sacrifice like he did. I was upset and gave him some space. Was I wrong to point it out? Update 1. Okay, I took everyone's advice and stopped working on my part of the chores. I did tell him beforehand, since he thinks my contribution to the housework is nothing, then I will stop doing everything altogether. I told him that since he thinks being a stay-at-home dad is easy, then he should have the full experience of it. My friend's husband doesn't even lift a finger around the house, so I won't either. He was obviously upset. He wanted to argue that I cannot do this to him. He even tried to pull the incompetence card. I told him I am not going to do my portion of the job at home. I also gave the typical excuse, I work all day at my office so that we can survive on one income, it is selfish for him to expect me to do housework. That's what I did. I didn't do any housework. I didn't wake up in the morning and make breakfast. My husband had to do it. It wasn't hard for him, but I could see he was moody. I asked him to prepare my lunch because that is also my job. He refused at first, but then I told him he said he will do all the household chores too, and that includes my lunch as well. He only packed me a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I didn't do any meal prep for lunch, it was his job to figure it out. At night when I came home, I didn't make dinner, I asked him to do it. He was shocked but did it anyway. I didn't give my son a bath and I only helped my daughter with her homework. I also didn't help him with the laundry. The first few days he didn't say a word. But after a week, it was showing that he was getting exhausted. He was getting more and more angry at small stuff, and usually cleaning would cool him off, but whenever he sees a mess, he throws a tantrum. On the weekends, I went to my mother's house to relax. That weekend, we were supposed to clean our bathrooms. He did that all by himself. As the days progressed, I could see him being really angry at me. Even I admit, it has affected our intimacy a lot. At last, after two weeks, he told me, in a voice that was practically yelling, that I proved my point. Things are back to normal now but I can see he is being very distant with me. Last night I asked him to talk to me, and he said he knew what game I was playing but he did not appreciate me treating him like garbage. I told him it was his words that being a stay-at-home dad was easy. I just gave him the full experience of it. He kept denying that I should have been more supportive. All these weeks he felt like nobody and so underappreciated. He felt invisible. 
He started to hate me for not giving a damn and dumping everything on him. He is still not talking to me. We have booked a couples therapy session next week. Let's see if our relationship sustains or not. Update 2. I want to let you guys know we are not getting a divorce, despite some of you hoping and cursing me out in my DMs. Seriously, who wishes to a stranger that their husbands should cheat on them? We did go to counseling. Yes, I sincerely apologize for my childish behavior because of a Reddit post I made. We discovered a lot of things about us and our relationship during the counseling sessions. Firstly, I apologized to him and explained why I did that. I wanted him to understand that it is not easy if you do not have help. I also mentioned my mother's experience as the caretaker of the family, doing it all alone, and how exhausting it is. Looking back, I think it was a stupid way to get my point across, but I was hurt and annoyed that he thinks women just complain about housework when most of them probably don't have help from their spouses. He expressed that he gets it. Those few weeks when I didn't help him really took a toll on him. He doesn't get tired easily, but since he was doing all of it, it was tiring for him. I acknowledged that. After a lot of talking and communicating, we came to the root cause. He said that sometimes he feels insecure about himself, like he is not doing enough for us. All of his guy friends have jobs and provide for their families. One friend bragged about taking his wife on vacation to Greece. He felt small compared to that because he only made us dinner and gave me a massage. On the other hand, I gifted him a very expensive watch. He felt like he was supposed to be the provider for this family, but he feels really small because I am doing well in my career and he feels stuck. It was one of those moments that made me cry. I liked it when he made dinner for me and gave me a massage. He is a good cook. I asked him if he wanted to go back to the workplace. If that is the case, he will have my full support. I know things will change a lot. We both have to make compromises, but it will be worth it because I love him, and he is the best husband anyone could ask for. He says he doesn't want to handle the pressure of the workplace. Last time he crashed and decided to quit. He likes being a stay-at-home dad but also wants to earn. So, he is looking for a part-time job while doing what we used to do. I encouraged him to look into freelancing and remote work. He did find one, but it is low pay, so the search for a decent job is still in progress. He did apologize to my friend Ashley. He realized not everyone has it easy. I mean, we hit the jackpot with the kids because they are pretty quiet. People have different struggles. I know he is sincere because he deleted his blog posts about being a stay-at-home dad being easy. Also, unrelated, Ashley is getting a divorce. Good for her, I guess. We are fine, our children are fine, we still have one more session of therapy left. Our intimate lives are better, and we found a way to better communicate with each other rather than being petty. I was scared that our marriage would collapse, but I am glad we stood strong.